Good morning, good morning, my kings and queens. I am bringing you a quick review and allowing you to get ready with me while I get ready to go and start my day. Um, I have been bringing y'all some, you know, quick reviews. I haven't been doing my usual pre-recording. Um, I'm trying to save all that energy for the live broadcast the hot table talks that we are going to be doing here on this channel but anyways i wanted to kind of come and let you guys know what's going on give you an update um toya and regine they are preparing and they are just looking so fabulous um yesterday they had a private um show so it was their family and friends that it appears that were there um and i've also seen several um interviews with toya and regine here on youtube and i will link them down below and it was really good to see them talking about the show and how it changed them as a person you know how it affected their um, character and things that they learned about themselves while they were filming. You know, it was really good to hear more insight on what's going on inside behind the scenes. You know, we see behind the scene footage at a minimum, but to hear them talk about it and speak on it without giving too much away, um, it was just so refreshing to hear them talk about and I did I, I think I watched three interviews here on YouTube last night and I was just trying to take away some of the most important facts um, key points that they were speaking on and the main thing that stood out to me was them talking about um, their family dynamics and the interviewers, I would have to say that I love the style and the way that they interview because they also talked about family dynamics, you know? So I was just really honed in on that because, you know, that's my thing here on this channel, talking about family dynamics. But um, to hear them really go deep and dive into it and let us in because we are outsiders, you know, we don't know them in real life. Um, it was just amazing to hear. Now, Toya, you know, she spoke on some th something that we will see play out on the show. You know, I, she been knew about the situation, but we will get to see something that she learned more about on the show when it airs that she did not know. You know, and she talks about being nervous about you know one scene a few scenes you know because she said you know a lot of things went on during the show during the filming and it was good to also get their responses you know about the show because some people think that the show is scripted but you know by them speaking and talking about what's going on you know it's reality you know it's unscripted so to speak but also, it was good to hear Regine, you know, she was talking about um, how the show changed her as a person. She was able to step back and kind of see herself for what, who she is and who, what she needs to work on in her life, you know, and that's to listen more, have patience, you know, let things just play out in life and it was really good to hear her saying that because you know it, in life sometimes we are on go on go on go or going through things but we don't step back and realize hey maybe i need to work on some things in my life too you know my character uh, maybe i need to work on some things to make my life better so to speak you know sometimes we just don't think about that until we actually get put to a test and in their case they're on national tv you know showing the world their family issues and things that's going on in their family you know they're showing the world this so whereas we get to do this behind closed doors and nobody really know about it 
they're choosing to put this on camera on national TV. And Regine, you know, she was asked, you know, why did she decide to put her relationship on the show? And, you know, she explained that they were already on YouTube. Everybody was loving it. Um, and she felt like, why not? You know, and they also talked about how the family, you know, how did they receive being on TV, like having their business, their personal lives being aired on TV. And they talked about, you know, at first it was an adjustment, you know, and especially for the ones who've never been on national TV on a reality TV show. You know, that's an adjustment. And I can see that, you know, because I don't know if I'd be okay with getting on national TV and just airing out all my dirty laundry, you know. So it takes a it takes a very, very brave soul to do it. And I commend them for showing the world what they go through. And as they stated in these interviews, that they hope people can take things from this, like learn, hope that this teaches people um, how to deal with their families and, you know, how to go on when things are not going good. And that's the key thing behind this. That's the key takeaway. You know, even though they are seeing we're seeing these things play out on TV. We could take something away from it. I also like how the interviewers, they made it, you know, a safe place for Regine to talk about her relationship with Armand. Um, you know, because now on certain channels, if the relationship gets talked about, there's just so much going on in the comments. You know, people get in their feelings and that's something that we have to stop, you know, we don't want the drama surrounding their name. We have to be able to talk about this without getting on each other in the comments, you know, because I did know in one of the comment sections that, you know, people were trying to go back and say word for word what she said. Um, you know, they were looking like, oh, she said she was with, he was in her life. He is in her life. He was in her life. You know, so people were in the comments talking about how she answered that question. But guys, we really just have to wait and see how this plays out on the show. And she did say that in one of the interviews, you know, just wait and see how this plays out in the show. Um... You know, because she's not going to let off to any of that right now. And I think that is why she may have stumbled over that question a little bit. Because she's trying to be transparent, yet she's trying to answer the questions, you know. And keep the atmosphere going. So, the atmosphere in a good place and going with the interview at the time. So, let's not hold that against her. Um let's just wait and see how this plays out that's why i really don't speak too much on that because we have to see what is going on and i like to get things directly from armand and regine's mouth when it comes down to that moving along they talked about breaking generational curses and you know toya was highlighted you know when that question was asked because she's been that one in the family who's been trying to keep the family together you know she's like the glue to the family and <clears throat> she was giving her flowers for being that one who steps in and you know try to keep everybody together but she also talked about how it gets overwhelming sometimes and sometimes she's just like you know this is not working you know so as a result she gets tired and worn out from trying to keep everybody together sometimes you know it gets to be a lot of pressure on you you know especially when you're that one in the family that everybody looks up to or go to or thinks supposed to hold the family together but things are not changing in front of your eyes you know that can get a little overwhelming so i could see her frustration there but i commend her for what she's doing and that's my point in highlighting the um characters here the cast members you know i did a poll for the women and the guys 
you know, for you guys to tell me which one is your favorite cast member and why. Because as we know, yes, we love them all without a doubt. But guys, when I tell you mama slash grandma Nita, that's my girl. I love her. Any show of reality, um, TV, you know, you're going to have your favorite cast member. It That's just it. You know, you're going to have somebody who you really, really like because they may just resonate with you with something personal in your life and uh, mama nita she resonates with me so much you know on a personal level and so that is why she is one of my favorite cast members and that's why i put the poll up so you guys can vote and talk about their characters and there's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with loving the family but if one is favorite and stand out to you there's nothing wrong with that but speaking of that i say that because you know it's important when you have someone who's displaying things, you know, in a public eye, you're going through those things. You can apply that to your life. And Grandma Nita, she's the, she just shows, you know, she's so transparent, but then she's like an open book. You know, she keeps it real. She's funny. You know, she's been through things in life, but she still goes on. She's there for her children. She's a great mother, a great grandmother, cousin, aunt, friend. I just absolutely adore her. She's like a mom that I've never had, you know, and I've lost my mom. So I can really resonate with her. And just, I see so much of my mom in her. Like, she's just a strong woman. But um, there was a lot more in the interviews. And I'm going to link them down below so you guys can watch them. We will be here live tomorrow night at 10 o'clock p.m. Make sure you are tuned in. Do not bring your feelings with you. And you know what I say? Bring your thoughts. <laughs> and your commentary so that we can converse in the comment section also join me with my two co-hosts tomorrow i am super excited um it's going to be some fun and we're gonna dive deep into the family dynamics as they are presented we will focus on all cast members and the things that they are going through as they are also presented to us that is it for today, guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Remember to put yourself first, girl. Pat yourself on the back for doing a great job for what you're doing. Keep your heads up. Be blessed, guys. Bye-bye.